who is coming off a terrific game against UTSA last week. For all of the reasons that, that we're talking about Golden, Abu Uzman is just as important. He could be the key to victory for the Mean Green here tonight in the Super Pit. We are underway. The tip won by FAU. This is a team that averages almost 81 points a game. They will try to push the pace. Meanwhile, North Texas has been very deliberate this year, averaging 62 points a game. Yeah, Doug, for FAU, it's all about their bench. And as you see that early turnover, they come out with four guards and a center. They, they have full intention on playing fast, and this is going to be the tempo that's going to be the key tonight. I think you're exactly right. Pace will dictate this game. Whichever team can enforce their will as Usman takes a long-distance jumper from beyond the free-throw line, no good. You see the starters for North Texas. Nick Boyd coming off a 15-point effort against Northern Kentucky. He controls the ball, top of the circle. Driving in, and a charging call against Boyd. That is drawn by Kai Huntsbury. A great job by Huntsbury to draw the offensive foul. And you know what? Coach Mack is going to make sure that his guys are keyed in on defense. That must be a prerequisite to play here because you have got to take these charges. You've got to die for loose balls. As you see right here, Kai Huntsbury is just sacrificing his body to get that charge. Free throw line, Usman driving. His shot off the mark, rebounded by the Owls. Boy, the iron is unkind to Usman. He's had one go down and come out, and that shot looked good coming off his hand. Golden. And one for the sophomore Vlad Golden out of Malchik, Russia. And that is the first points of the night as the Owls will go to the free throw line. Golden, a 55% shooter from the line this year. You know, we talked about this pace in the pregame and just seeing who was, who was it going to favor because, Doug, somebody's style of play is going to have to be sacrificed. We know that the Mean Green like to play a slower pace, but that's not FAU's style. As you see here, as Golden goes up and uses all of that 7-1 body of his to get the score and one. Usman with the foul, and that's one of the only real concerns concerning Usman he is capable of having tremendous nights like he did last week against UTSA, but he can also get into foul trouble early and be a non-factor having to go to the bench. Now an offensive foul for North Texas as Tyree Eady. It is his first, the second for North Texas. Yeah, Eady didn't agree with that, but I think they got him on the shoulder lean inside in the lane. They got the early charges. And right now, you can see it, man. You, you talk about Usman and the foul trouble that he's having. That's one thing that the Mean Green can ill afford is to get in any foul trouble because this team for FAU is deep. FAU with a long rebound. They're outscoring opponents by 18 and a half a game. They're also out-rebounding opponents by over 10 a game. Couple of missed shots, though, and North Texas with the board. Perry. Around to Hunsbury inside Usman. One-on-one -on -one against Golden. Spin, and the hook goes in. There it is. And you know for Abu, that's all he needs. Once he gets that shoulder down, man, I'm telling you, he's automatic from that range. This is going to be a big man matchup. You got to keep your eyes down in that paint. Greenlee controls it. He'll penetrate. Down low to Golden on the bounce pass. Goes out of bounds. And another turnover for FAU. And the big man, he pats his chest because he knows that's all on him. Golden 7-1. It's one of those hard things for him to do. Get his hands on the ball and those bounce passes. He's one of those quintessential centers. You got to get it up high for him so he didn't have to think when he has it in his hand. Substitutions for North Texas as Matthew Stone checks into the game along with Jaden Martinez. And, Doug, I think we've committed a sin here. We've been on air for a couple of minutes, and we hadn't even mentioned Tyler Perry. I don't know what, <laughs> what's going on with us as he rewards us all with the three. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue, partner. Right. <laughs> Tyler Perry jacks the three, and hello, Mr. Perry, as he makes his presence known. Oh, 
North Texas up by two. Greenlee, a dish to Golden, driving Golden off the back iron and out of bounds, and North Texas will control it. Yeah, giving, giving Golden the ball in his sweet spot, and you see them doing that right now. They're working that part of their game, and Dusty May is going to have attention to detail when it comes down to Vlad Golden. Here's another look at that Tyler Perry three, two feet beyond the line. Well, he is electric. As a little guy, he plays so much bigger than the stats say he is. 17 points a game for the North Texas Spark Plug. Perry controls the ball. He'll drive Dish out. Jones with it. Has it stolen away. Elijah Martin, who is in the game, driving. His layup won't go. Now Reuben Jones brings it back the other way. And that's the thing about Elijah Martin, number 15. He is so big and physical. Look at the shoulders on this young man. He'll fight through a screen and get those steals as we have an injured player down on the court. They're going to stop play on John, this side. John L. Davis got tangled up with Aaron Scott, both number ones. And they hit the hardwood. Davis was slow to get up. That brings us to a stoppage in play with 16.04 remaining in the first half. And North Texas up by two. You know, we were talking about the pace of this game. I don't think we were anticipating this kind of a pace being played right now. I think the mean green are playing in two FAU's hands with this pace. And you saw on the left side of your screen, John L. Davis knee buckling and took a moment to get up, but he is up and in the action. Martin guarded by Martinez. He'll drive baseline, look for an outlet. Greenlee, quick feed to the corner, three pointer on the way, no good. As John L. Davis tried for the three but could not make it. And a foul on the play. That'll bring us to a timeout. He started out as a video coordinator at USC and worked his way up through the coaching ranks. But I love what he's done with this team, the foundation that he's built. And finally, he has the team that can make a push to play in the tournament. These guys are unselfish. That's the one word that they always use about this Owl squad. Davis. Right-handed scoop goes in and ties the game. I love this guy, John L. Davis, man. He is old school, man. He has an old school look about him, man. But he is just, just a scorer. He's a guy that finds a way to get the ball in the basket. Perry driving in the paint. He'll try to scoop it. No good, but Usman's there to put it back. Usman is just lurking in the paint. They've got to find a body to get on him, man, because he is going to use that wingspan and this big body of his to get those points, man. And right now, the Owls are feeling it. Greenlee. Inside. Turnaround jumper. Rosado is good. Giancarlo Rosado, who has checked into the game with his first basket. Yeah, Giancarlo, the great new neutralizer they feel for uh, for Abu Usman on the defensive end. They're going to make him work for everything on both sides of the court. Perry controls. Top of the circle. He'll drive. Oh, my. Underneath and good for oh Tyler my. Perry. Oh, my. He doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to Tyler Perry. If he has a 6'8 guy on him, he's like, look, I'm going to take you to school. And he uses the rim. Uh, to help to not have his shot get blocked, man. That's just, man, that's just good basketball for TP. A steal for North Texas and a chance to extend a two-point lead. Perry kicks out Jones. Hunsberry with a feed to Usman, double team. Now Usman isolated and a foul. Rosado called with the foul. That's his first. Yeah, they're going to have to continue to run these big bodies out. But look at Tyler Perry. He is a guy. I'm telling you, man, he is electric for the mean green. Hunsberry, jumper, good. 
Kai Hunsbury, who's averaging almost 12 points a game with his first bucket tonight. North Texas up by four. And Mike For- Mike Forrest is off the bench. He is instant offense for the Owls as well. A six man that <laughs> you have to ask yourself, man, with the way that this guy scores, how why do they bring him <laughs> off the bench? He should start. This FAU squad, fourth in the nation in bench points per game, almost 36 coming off the bench. And Forrest, of course, is a big part of that. This guy, number 15, Elijah Martin, keep your eyes locked on him, man. He, he's a guy that does all the dirty work for the Isles. He will play defense, dive on the floor. It, he does not care. And you see him right there boxing guys out, getting inside. At just 6'2", he plays like he's much bigger. Martin's free throw, good. Stone with it. Back to Perry. FAU within a point after the three-point play, but Perry stretches it back out with a jumper. Oh, that's poetic, man. He is working through those screens. Getting, setting himself up to get the shot. It really is going to be hard for anyone to stop him. John L. Davis played great defense right there, but Tyler Perry just getting to a point where his comfort zone, his sugar spot on this on the floor, and he's going to knock that down every time. Rosado with a feed to Martin, knocked away. Hunsbury to Stone. Now back to Kai Hunsbury. Usman sets the pick as North Texas maneuvers the ball around the circle. This is a team that uses as much of the shot clock as anybody in college basketball. They have the ball go out of bounds here. I've really been surprised. You know, they've been going a lot quicker on offense, a lot quicker than we've been used to. Uh, Like you just noted, you know, they make sure that they use all of that clock before they get a shot up. Everyone gets the touch of the ball. Hunsbury with a drive, double team, shot won't fall. Rebound to Boyd. And Nick Boyd, the captain of this FAU ship, he leads it up court. And that's how Vlad Golden influencing that shot inside. You got a guy 7-1 inside, man. It's just not easy to get those shots up. North Texas knocked the ball away but couldn't control it. They will stay with the L's. Both teams 1-0. In Conference USA play, North Texas trying to start 2-0 for the first time since the 2018-19 season. Pass inside, Golden, it goes out of bounds, stays with Florida Atlantic. Oh, the crowd doesn't like that. The crowd here at the Super Pit does not agree with that because it really did look like Golden was the last to have his hands on it. Inside to Davis. And a quick jumper, Forrest, no good, but Perry called for a foul, and Michael Forrest will get three shots from the free throw line. Yeah, I think they're going to get Tyler Perry for getting his body into him, just a little bit of hand on Mike Forrest. And we talk about him being instant offense coming off the bench. He will knock those three points down. And for the Owls, they have been hot from the three-point line, but even better at defending the three-point line. Well, here's your guy off the bench, Michael Forrest, averaging 11.7 a game and an 85% free throw shooter. Well, I can't say you jinxed him. <laughs> you were on your way. <laughs> well, I <that> came after. <laughs> right. What I said came after his first <laughs> shot. Second shot, good for Forrest. He I had gotta, 10 points against Northern Kentucky in their last game. I had an Ely High School. In Lauderhill, Florida. Tell you what, Florida's known for its football, but they're changing that now with the basketball for FAU. Four is two of three from the line. Brings the Owls back to within one. You see the fouls, North Texas five, FAU two here in the first half. Hunsbury. Feeds to Scott, back to Hunsbury, three-pointer on the way. Won't fall, and the Owls with the board as Greenlee feeds it up to Forrest. Davis drives, right-handed shot won't go. 
but he is fouled. So when we come back, John L. Davis will go to the free throw line. 11. It's taking a toll. The way that these guys are just running through these pick and rolls. I mean, they are throwing caution to the wind out here on a lot of these pick and rolls. John L. Davis at the line, 64% on the year. Nails that first one. A sophomore guard out of Gary, Indiana. Second free throw won't fall. Reuben Jones had it for a moment, but stolen away, and it's FAU basketball. Davis tries to pass it. It's stolen away, but a foul called down low. Didn't see the foul on that side up. Looks like Brandon they're going to get... asking for a little clarification as well. I think they got Kai Huntsbury with the push. But that was a great steal by Brian Greenlee. The foul will put Vlad Golden on the line. Yeah, it was away from the ball, but the Owls in the bonus with 17 fouls against North Texas. Tie ball game at 13. Hunsberry had to bounce pass it in. It was kicked away. North Texas from the field, 50%. 6 of 12 so far tonight. They will control the basketball. Barry with a long pass to inbound. Yeah, rebounds about even for both teams so far. Barry to Scott. Inside, Usman. The hook won't fall. Rebounded by Golden. And that's the matchup they were looking for. Tried to clear out for Usman. Just not able to get it to go down. Owls with Greenlee. Trying to feed it to the seven-footer. Goes off the rim. Taken away by North Texas. Perry steps back. Three-pointer. No good. Scott with the rebound. Out to Jones. A three-point shot won't fall. Usman there to grab it. He'll put it back no good. Three consecutive looks, three misses for North Texas. And all three were really good looks for the Mean Green. Just the ball not going down for them. You talked about the shooting percentage. They were at 50% a second ago. You would expect for those to go down, especially for Abu. He is point-blank range with those misses. Forrest high off the glass and good. And FAU takes the lead, 15-13. And that's Mike Forrest for you, man. He's going to stay aggressive. He's going to, I mean, he's one of those guys. He's a dribble drive penetrator. Offensive foul called against Tyler Perry. And that does not have the mean green faithful very happy. Another look at that shot by Forrest. I'm talking about touchy. his ability to drive into that paint certainly was on display. Yeah, and they want to get Vlad Golden involved because they know when the big man is hot, everything else on their offense really starts to click. But when he's not, they can get Mike Forrest involved in this game, also with Elijah Martin. So they have other facets of their game that they go to, and you see it working right now. Pass out to Martin. And a feed over to Boyd. Boyd trying to set something up now. Back to Martin. Shot won't go. North Texas with the rebound. Jones, a kick out to Martinez. Oh, good move. Jones wanted to drive. Lost control, but he was fouled. And for North Texas... They pick up only the third foul against FAU here in the half. That was on Nick Boyd, his second. 
And I'll tell you what, Nick, Nick Boyd has been a pain in the side of the Mean Green. He is still in balls, taking charges. He's doing everything for FAU as well. So Hunsbury has to dive for a loose ball. Scott double teamed. Will kick out of it to Jones. Shot clock down to six. Jones, his shot won't fall. There's a whistle away from the ball. And they're going to get Brandon Witherspoon down low. Both of these guys are jockeying for position. Witherspoon and Martinez. Witherspoon, his first. 6'4", junior from Canton, Mississippi. On the left side of your screen, you can see the foul there by Witherspoon. Put that pork chop up under your neck. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you get position. It's only four team fouls against FAU in the half. Owls lead by two. Hunsbury with the drive. The shot won't go. North Texas has gone cold over the last three or four minutes of game time. FAU with a missed three-point opportunity. Martin the drive. He'll kick out. Now inside. Rosado. But a traveling call against Rosado and a turnover. Giancarlo, he is upset about that because he felt like he established his pivot when he turned back inside. That looked like a good move, but they call a travel nonetheless on the big man. Gary Sitton, Marcus Pettigrew, and Ryan McCarty are Conference USA officials tonight. Yeah, they called it tight on both ends. Got to give him credit for that. Hunsbury with the drive to the cornerstone. Now Martinez, top of the circle, hands it off. Perry, and Perry fouled. That'll be the fifth against FAU. And it will bring us to a timeout on the court. 7.55 remaining in the half. And that his guys pay attention on the defensive end as you see those points allowed. And they're even doubling down on that at 51 points this season. And they've held a very good shooting FAU ball club to 35% so far in the game. 5 of 14 from the field. And I don't think you're surprised, Doug. <laughs> no, I kind of expected it coming in. That was North Texas' key to victory. They have to shut down this very good offensive basketball team. Perry, his shot goes, and one. No, an offensive foul called against Perry. Wow, was not expecting that. You know, we, we're here, we're down on this end, and really that was a tough foul to call. And, unless they're calling him with the clear out with the left hand once he goes up in the lane. And that seems so very slight. That was a sell job by Jalen Gaffney, too. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Gaffney brings the ball up. Pitch to Rosado. And now Elijah Martin, guarded by Martinez, has to throw it back out. Inside Rosado again. Now Forrest pulls up for the three, no good. And the rebound comes down to Tyree Eady. And Mike Forrest was going to shoot that the entire time. He was running to his spot on the floor to take that three-pointer. It's just not falling for FAU right now. Martinez, three-pointer goes. Like to see that one go down as the Mean Green had missed their last five shots. They needed that one. They'd gone on a cold streak. They had not scored in six minutes of game time. And that three-pointer puts them back on top. North Texas with the basketball, 6.38. Remaining in the half, and they lead by one. A combined three losses between these two teams so far this year. FAU has won 10 in a row, including a big victory over SEC opponent Florida. And I think that's the one victory that they have that really just, the light bulb came on after that victory. And you've seen these guys, it's really just unstoppable after beating an SEC opponent. North Texas has won five in a row and nine of their last 10. 
Jones, free throw line jumper goes. And Reuben Jones adding to the offense for North Texas. Up by three. Greenlee. Up top. Davis spins, driving. His shot will go, but there's a whistle. And over on the far side of the court. That rushing Ruben, foul is called against North Texas. Yeah, Ruben Jones just trying to fight through the screen from v- Vlad Golden. This, is, this game is getting a little touchy and chippy between these, these guys. They're talking a lot to each other. So the referees are trying to get these benches under control. FAU has gone four minutes without scoring a point. Vlad Golden has a chance to change that at the free throw line as we get a look at the replay. Golden's Free throw is good. That's one of two from the line for Golden. But FAU with the rebound. Shot on the way won't fall. Martinez grabs the board. You know, I love this experience from Martinez. He's a redshirt senior and transfer. You could tell, man, his experience on the floor, he doesn't get rattled. Seen those opportunities for him to get his offense going, but he concentrates on his defense once things are not falling for him. You love to see guys like that. Ruben Jones! (laughs) Wow, what a play! (laughs) Okay. (laughs) It counts, friends. It counts. Jones waving his arms, trying to create a steal, instead created a bucket. And that has fired up the North Texas fans here at the pit. Just as quickly the momentum takes a detour as Mean Green commit a foul. (laughs) Watch this again. (laughs) Jones just (laughs) waving his arms, knocks it into the bucket. (laughs) Degree of difficulty (laughs) on a million right there. The probability of that happening. That's about a thousand to one right there. Jeez. Elijah Martin at the free throw line. 79% free throw shooter. Makes the first. It pulls FAU to within three. And the second one will make it a two point game. Martin gets one more. He can bring the Owls to within one. Three for three from the line on that trip for Elijah Martin. And it's a one-point game. North Texas leading 2019 as Hunsbury brings the ball up court. You see them pressuring the point. They're changing up their defense. Three-pointer Scott won't go. Golden grabs the board. Greenlee kicks out. Gaffney with it. And now Davis. Guarded by Stone. Double team. Tries to feed Golden. Stolen away by North Texas. Reuben Jones bringing it up court. Jones against Golden. He wants the shot. It's blocked by Golden, but a foul call. Got to give Reuben Jones credit for that because he kept working against Black Golden. Wouldn't give up on it. He knew he had him in the paint, and he tried to draw the foul, and he was successful at it. Golden with the foul to send Jones to the free throw line. First one for Jones is good. That was the first foul for Golden. Jones' second free throw good as well. Improving his free throw percentage quite a bit. He was one of six from the line coming into the game. 22-19 North Texas. Right now for FAU, they've got to get some concentration on the pick and roll to try and get Vlad Golden involved here because he has a height advantage over this defense for the Mean Green. They're just not using it. 
Greenlee with a kick out to Davis up top. Shot won't fall for Gaffney. Golden there for the putback. I mean, he's 7-1, folks. So yeah, And he's an active 7-1. He, yes. He's not just taking up space. Makes it a one-point game. We came in talking about him being in foul trouble. He's done a good job of staying out of foul trouble, but I believe on the offensive end, if they can get him in the ISO pick and roll, it's going to be good for him to get involved offensively. Hunsbury called for the offensive foul, and they are really calling the push off here they really, tonight. They really are. That brings us to the final media timeout of the first half. 3.30. Mean Green, we know that there's an attention to detail on the defensive end, but offensively, how would they compete? Man, they're showing that they have another gear. Now, can they keep this up for an entire game? Really is the question, Doug. FAU looking for their second NCAA tournament appearance in school history. Their only one came in 2002 when they won the Atlantic Sun conference tournament and went to the big dance. And see, they're going right back down to Vlad in the paint, recognizing that they have... Look at that. <laughs> uh, two chances for Golden. And now the ball tied up. Main Green will have the basketball. And Matthew Stone, he probably has a harder stone, but he's 6'4". <laughs> Vlad Golden is 7'1". North Texas as we approach the three-minute mark in the first half. And this is the guy that they really need to get going. Tyler Perry's had some cheap fouls called on him. It's kind of gotten in his head a little bit. But they really need their playmaker to do what he does. I mean, these for moments like this, this is where five takes over a game. Needy, three-pointer off the mark. Golden with the rebound. And Golden with his fifth rebound of the night. With the Owls trailing by a point, they feed it inside to the big man. Quick kick out, and a three-point shot on the way won't fall for Martin. And those are shots that typically Martin's able to knock down for him. Again, for FAU, a lot of these open looks that they've been getting, ball not going through the rim, rim for him. Martinez had a good look at the basket, couldn't make the shot fall. And now Golden. And Stone get tangled up underneath the basket. Golden still yeah. in quite a bit of pain. Ooh, that hurt. You're right, Tyler Perry. Couple of fouls here in the first half. Has seven points, but he spent a lot of time on the bench because of those fouls and North Texas really needs him out there. We've seen time and time again, Tyler Perry, his ability to take over games at the end of halves. That's just his specialty. We, we talked about, again, these these referees, Conference USA refs, they've been calling it close on both ends, but we saw a couple times that offensive foul, the last one that they called on Tyler Perry. Uh, that was a tough one. And, again, you don't want that to get into the head of Tyler Perry, but it, it, it kind of has. Vlad Golden at the line. Golden, even though he is from Russia, has some Texas ties. He's a transfer from Texas Tech. How about that? So he knows his way around the Lone Star State a little bit. Really impressed with him as well, man. He's a tall, long guy, but he is active down in the paint. One free throw ties the game at 22. As you see now, FAU goes to a little bit of a matchup zone look. Really trying to keep Tyler Perry from having anything open. Shot from the far corner won't fall for Tyree Eady. And the Owls with the rebound. Tough defensive rebound for Forrest. Driving, Greenlee. You see this mean green defense. They are fronting these shooters. Davis, his shot won't go, but Golden is there to put it back. A tough matchup down low 
for Vlad Golden. I mean, at 7-1, there's nothing you can do about him once he gets the ball in such close proximity. A minute 10 remaining in the first half. Jones drives, and he was waiting for the offensive foul call. He got it. He was wondering there for a second if he got away with it. He did not. It was that split second, you can tell. It was in his mind. He said to himself, oh, God, please, don't sit no. down. And, and, and the whistle came. And by law, I mean, he's right there at the dot, and they get him by the letter. That is an offensive foul. So it's unfortunate that Mean Green have definitely been struggling with these offensive fouls. North Texas doing a great job on the other end, though. FAU 7 of 24 from the field, shooting less than 30%. This is the guy they got to get involved as well, Mike Forrest. Forrest with a turnaround jumper. It won't go. And it's not cold in North Texas. It was 70 degrees today, but the rims are cold here in the Super Pit tonight. <laughs> it, sure, it sure is. I don't know if they shrink, they shrink these things down at a certain point, but neither team could get anything going and that's just a surprising offensively especially when you know FAU we just talked of the clock per possession that is the longest of any team in division one basketball shot clock is set at 24 as we start this possession for the main green Barry feeds to Jones in the corner three pointer <laughs> It won't fall, and the Owls are all over at Davis with the rebound. Oh, and it obviously felt good when it came off of his hands, but it did not go down. And FAU will use a timeout to draw up perhaps their final play of the first half. They lead by two. Let's see. UAB next week, ooh, another ooh. one of the hottest teams in the conference. Doesn't get any easier for the Owls in their next matchup. It's going to be a good test for them because they got an opponent in front of them tonight that is not going to waver. They're able to pull out a victory here at the Super Pit. They will have earned it. Greenlee controls the ball with under 10 seconds left in the half. Greenlee with a drive. Feeds down low. Davis is there. No one is around him, and it's an easy bucket for the Owls as they take a four-point lead to halftime. We have reached intermission at the Super Pit in Denton, and FAU leads North Texas 26-22. Class A technical that results in two shots to begin the half for North Texas, and they will get the ball as well as Tyler Perry is at the line, makes that first one. Perry, good on both, and North Texas will take the ball. That makes it a two-point game at 26 to 24. You know, I was telling you, man, the reckless abandon that both of these teams were, were running through these screens. They're knocking each other down. The, the, the towel guys on the sideline are working overtime to clean this court off because there's a lot of bodies hitting the ground, and that's due to the aggressive nature of the way that this game has been played. So when it went to half and both of these teams walking off, some words were shared, and, again, bumping into each other will not be allowed. And a technical foul was called. That's, that's your, hey, they got to get get down there and dry that part of the court off right now. Those guys are working overtime. They are still <laughs> just going at it. Physical game. We expected that from these two ball clubs. There it is, diving for loose balls. Every possession important in this game. Two-point lead right now for FAU. I think the surprising thing right now, Doug, is that FAU hasn't knocked down a three-pointer. We opened talking about how deadly they've been from three-point range, and here we go. The shot is up. Greenlee with a shot. It won't go. Usman with the rebound. Abu Usman. When North Texas needs him out there, he was only able to play just under eight minutes in that first half due to foul trouble. Huntsbury 
Tries to feed it down low, saved. Usman with the shot won't go and fouled underneath. Boy, do they need a boo Usman to be the great neutralizer. Going on. Yeah, they, they were looking for a flagrant. They just ruled it a common foul. Okay. Which I didn't think I saw a flagrant there. So that, I think that's the right call. Usman will go to the free throw line. First free throw good for Usman, the junior, out of Brooklyn, New York. And the second free throw can tie the game. Boo Usman, one tough customer, one of 11 children from Brooklyn, New York. I think he can handle himself in the paint. He does all right. And a two-for-two trip from the free throw line makes it a 26-all ball game. FAU rotating around. Inside Golden double team. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's North Texas basketball as it was knocked away by Usman. That's good defense by your big man, who's probably cognizant of his foul situation. That's a good job of not drawing another one from Abu. Hunsbury goes in the paint, now back out. Perry calling for it, top of the circle. Now back to Huntsbury. Scott from three-point range, in and out. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will be FAU ball. Oh, Aaron Scott has got to knock that shot down. They are trying to find ways to get him in the open space. As right now, you have Brian Greenlee going everywhere Tyler Perry goes. They're shadowing him and not going to allow Tyler Perry to get hot here in the second half. But they found Aaron Scott in, in his spot. Greatly with a nice feed, finds Gaffney, and Jalen Gaffney with the bucket. Transfer from UConn. Comes up with a big basket to give FAU the lead. Perry. Steps back, three-pointer. It is off the rim. Golden grabs the board, and FAU can extend their advantage. And Tyler Perry put them on skates with the step back. Long distance, three-pointer goes. And now the Owls are starting to get a little hot from three-point range. Nick Boyd with the bucket. That makes it a five-point game and a quick timeout called by Grant McCaff. This is one of the hottest shooting three-point teams in Conference USA. And again, you can see the way that these guys are running them off of the three-point line for Nick Boyd to finally stand up and knock one down. That's big for the Owls who's looking to go on a run. First three-pointer for the Owls. They are one of 12 from beyond the arc. But they lead by five, 31-26. Usman wants to give it up for Perry. Now working it around the horn. Hunsbury back up top, Perry. He drives, dish, shot up, won't go for Edie. And Edie fouled on the play. Yeah, they're working so hard in the inside to get that shot off. But you see Vlad Golden, his presence in there, man. It, even when he's, he could be a, a, a away from you, a whole body away from you. But it's 7-1, he's able to reach over and still impact the shot. My correction, there was no foul call. It was just a ball going out of bounds. Last touch by FAU. You're going to get Brandon Witherspoon on the foul, though. Yeah, for Witherspoon, that'll be his second. Third team foul for the Owls. Usman up top. Hand off to Huntsbury. Now Perry works it. Inside, Usman, layup good. That's what you need from the big man. The high pick and roll, catch him inside, make it easy for him, get him in rhythm. Up top, Greenlee. Drive, layup, won't go. Usman there to grab the board. Look at that. He's going, Usman going up top. Hunsbury from the corner. Won't fall. Golden there. (laughs) 
Whistle. And it's a foul on North Texas, Aaron Scott. Oh, that's a tough call on Aaron Scott because you look at Vlad Golden. He's sticking his leg out on that screen, but they get Scott for trying to run through it. That is the first foul on North Texas in the half. Another look at it. FAU up by three. Players hitting the hardwood. Long distance shot won't go for Greenlee in the rebound to North Texas, but a whistle to stop play and a foul called. Yeah, they're going to get Nick Boyd on the foul. Like I said, man, the bodies have been hitting the floor here at the Super Pit. Technical, technical foul charge to FAU, and that'll pull North Texas to the free throw line. There was a flop, and the officials issuing the flop warning. <laughs> flop warning. How about that? <laughs> Who knew? The shot goes for Tyler Perry, makes it a two point game. Got to credit the Mean Green. They're knocking these shots at free throws down. They get an opportunity, but they've got to get hot. I mean, these guys are expending so much energy on the defensive end. Their offense, their buckets are struggling right now. Trying to get this ball down to number 33, Uzman. they got to get the big guy going. Jones will feed it inside. Usman, I took dead aim at the bucket, but he was fouled on the way there. And that'll bring us to immediate timeout, 15-44 remaining in the half and in the game. Edwards, and looking to extend a 10-game winning streak. Doug Anderson, Hegma Harrison with you from the Super Pit. Usman takes the inbound pass. Perry with it, driving baseline, now pulls back out. Trying to set up the pick and roll to Usman, doesn't work. Hunsbury with the shot clock down to five. Ruben Jones puts one up. No good at the shot clock buzzer. And the ball kicked out of bounds. I'll say North Texas. They're going to get Elijah Martin. Ball goes out of bounds off of him. North Texas keeps possession. Here's a look at the ball going out of bounds, and yeah, last touched it looks like by FAU. Usman working down low. Up top, Hunsbury three pointer on the way won't fall. FAU with the rebound. North Texas having trouble from the three point line tonight, just two of 15. Davis spins, feeds it underneath. To Rosado and Giancarlo Rosado with the bucket to make it a four-point game. Well, that's easy pickets for Giancarlo Rosado. He's down there on the elbow. Any Anywhere inside for him on the box is where you want to get number three. They found him in his sweet spot a couple of times. And I tell you what, with Vlad Golden out of the ball game, you would think that the mean green would be a little bit more advantageous on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively, for getting his big body out of there. Tyler Perry with it. Shot clock down to three, two. Perry throws one up at the buzzer. It goes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Tyler Perry. It's, it's just awesome to see this guy live do what he does. He is a, he is an artist with that ball in his hand. Two-point game. Davis to Rosado. Perry knocks it away. And Perry will be called for a foul. Here's another look at Perry's basket at the buzzer. Terrific shot by Tyler Perry. And the whole time, he has a view of the shot clock. He knows that it's all the way down to one second as the ball goes off of his hands. That's a beautiful shot, kissing it off the square to get it to go down. That was the third personal against Tyler Perry, so he will have to take a brief respite at least on Grant McCaslin's bench. 
Greenlee guarded by Hunsberry. Balls in the hands of Forrest. And Michael Forrest tries to feed down low. Davis. Forrest for three. In and out at the buzzer. Boy, that had to. Mike Forrest has got to be asking himself, what do I have to do to get one of these shots to fall? Because you're right, D.A., that was in and out. Whistle down in front of the North Texas bench. And it was a foul against FAU. That's the fifth team foul of the half. Greenlee with the foul, his first. The question is, Doug, will 50 points be scored here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> because every point for both of these teams, they're playing so hard defensively, nothing is easy on either end of the floor. You would think that would play into North Texas' hands as they only give up 51 a game, but... Right now, North Texas and FAU tied at 33 after the Huntsbury bucket. Forrest. That's a good switch off. There's Davis. Davis tries to penetrate. Don't kick it back out. Martin, pull up jumper. Off the iron. And North Texas with the rebound and a chance to retake the lead. They have not had the lead in the second half. Jones driving, shot, won't fall. FAU pushing the other way. Forrest to the corner. Gaffney a feed to Davis. His shot, no. And Martinez there for the rebound. And this is the lineup that Dusty made. He loved to go with this lineup to change, to end games with coming back off the bench with Vlad Golden. He's going to let Mike Forrest isolate and do what he does, but they are not hitting shots at all as we are tied up here at the Super Pit. Hunsbury. Loses the ball. Whistle. And a stoppage in play at 12.02 remaining in the game. Now, how frustrating is this for FAU, a team that's used to scoring 80 points per game? And they're just in a dog fight right now. They're down on the floor as you see John, John L. Davis with the foul. Davis his first, the team sixth. Actually, for Davis, that was number two. And the ball belongs to North Texas underneath their basket. Tari Eady checks out of the ball game. Usman back in. Perry wants to feed it down low, but an open look and a three-pointer for Tyler Perry. Oh, how about that? How about that for Tyler Perry? Shakes the guy out of his shoes and knocks down the three. This is what the Mean Green need to go on a run like this. They finally take the lead here in the second half. Three-pointed for the Mean Green. Under 12 minutes to play. Forrest with a feed up top to Gaffney. Gaffney wants to go by Stone. We'll kick it out. Martin from the corner. Won't fall, and Stone is there. That's a great play right there for Jaden Martinez. Boxing out and allowing Stone to get through to get the rebound. North Texas fans starting to make a little noise. Tyler Perry with the rug. Pass it over to Martinez. Jaden Martinez. Kick to Jones. Three-pointer. No. Usman there with the rebound. He wants to go up against Golden. He makes it. Look at Abu Usman. Dominating down in the paint. Boy, I tell you what. He is making Vlad Golden work for it. As the mean green or golden, he's had a few times where he's had some good looks. They've just gone away from from him, 
and you see the Mean Green taking advantage of it on the other end. Abu Uzman, as I stated earlier, he may be the key to victory, and seeing the big man active has to be something that uh, Coach Mack is welcoming right now. North Texas on a 9-0 run. Shot from Greenlee won't go. And Martinez with the rebound. North Texas has outscored the Owls 12-2 over the last six minutes of game time. And this just plays into the hands, as you say, Tyler Perry, just no sense of urgency, no rush at all. They're going to get this thing down to a couple of seconds before they take the shot. Perry up top, Martinez, and back to Perry. Shot clock, down to four, Perry, the runner goes. Oh, that's so sweet. And the teardrop in the lane for the little man, T.P. Now a seven-point lead for North Texas, their largest lead of the night. Greenlee inside, Golden against Usman. Baby hook goes for Vlad Golden. Can't play it any better than that, though. If you're a Boo Usman, <laughs> hey, this, there's no shame in what he just did. Golden in double figures tonight. Keeping FAU close. Perry, another runner. This one bounces off the glass, no good. Second shot won't go, and Golden grabs the ball. Davis in transition underneath the basket. It won't go. Ruben Jones brings it the other way for North Texas. Coast to coast, Jones. Yes. How about that for Ruben Jones? He tips the rebound to himself and says, you know what? No better time than the present to go coast to coast. Job number 15. Forrest. He kicks it out. Open look on the way. Won't fall for Greenlee. And North Texas controls it with a seven-point lead. And this right here is where they suck the life out of FAU, slowing the pace down. You see how quickly FAU is trying to get back up the court to get a score, and then North Texas does this. North Texas has had a habit of being a second-half team. Usman underneath. <laughs> Boo Usman says class is in session, big man. I'll show you how to get this done. North Texas has outscored its last three opponents in the second half 118 to 80 and they're starting to pull away here against FAU Forrest nice speed underneath Davis with the bucket and that stops the North Texas scoring run at least for a moment John L. Davis said he's not a he's not a scorer he's just a guy that's going to get the get ball in the bucket. He's going to do everything he possibly can. So gritty defensively. Usman shot in and out. Davis with the rebound. North Texas up by seven. 44-37. Seven and a half minutes left in the game. Shot on the way. Nick Boyd won't fall. And Ruben Jones is there with the rebound. Jones has had a big night on the board. That is six for him to go along with eight points. Look at this rotation offensively. Well, they are wearing FAU out. This timeout could come at a better time for both of these squads. Ball goes out of bounds and a timeout on the floor. 7-0-8 remaining in the game. North Texas up by seven. Offensively, now that Abu Usman has started to work these guys in the paint, it's got to make them a little leery because FAU playing from behind, they've got to get hot. They've got to continue to hit shots. The two key players for North Texas, Tyler Perry and Abu Usman, both in double figures. Perry with 17, Usman with 12. It's Usman down low. And a whistle. As Usman was fouled by Giancarlo Rosada. Yeah, they're going to get, that's going to be touchy. So Abu Usman will go to the line, two for two on the night. And you see his numbers 12 and six 
for the junior out of Brooklyn. Shot won't fall. FAU with the rebound. FAU being led tonight by Vlad Golden, but he is on the bench right now. Golden with a double-double, 11 points and 10 rebounds. Davis guarded by Scott and turns the ball over. Get it for the three seconds, and that's a good trap down low by Aaron Scott. Tried to run him underneath the goal. It was good. Great defense by number one. Unsperry. Driving, shot, won't fall. And a whistle as there's a foul away from the ball. Yeah, that's the kind of cheap foul that you get on a Blue Usman over the back. Those are the kind of fouls that he's got to stay away from. 12.6 rebounds. He's showing his value when he's on the court. They need the big man to stay out of foul trouble. Tyler Perry and Abu Usman both with three personal fouls. And Forrest give it off to Davis. Davis has penetrated well tonight. He does again. This time his shot won't fall. Another rebound. That's seven for Abu Usman. He's hogging the lane. Under six minutes to play in the game. Perry. Stutter step. Now drive a kick out. As North Texas works it around the horn. Five seconds on the shot clock. Perry driving. Shot up. And bounces in. <laughs> how, do you, how do you stop that, Doug? I mean, he's waiting. Hey, everybody's counting down the clock. He gets to five seconds. He is just a cool customer. He's in no hurry. Even if the clock gets to four, he knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. Tyler Perry, is man, he is something to watch. North Texas with a nine-point lead. Three-pointer on the way won't go. Davis up top to Gaffney. Gaffney driving. Bounces off the back iron. Fight for the loose ball, and it's a jump ball. Possession, Possession being green. points to North Texas. Checking into the ball game, Reuben Jones. Mean Green will take it up court, leading by nine. That's some quality minutes for Matthew Stone, number 23. Under five minutes to play. Hunsbury, guarded by Forrest. Graham McCaslin all the way out on the court, shouting instructions to the Mean Green. Shot clock down to five again. Perry at the buzzer. Perry throws one up, banks it off the iron, almost went in. No good. And FAU with the rebound. You know when I said somebody's style has got to give, I think you see. North Texas thought they had a steal. They did. Instead, it's a foul. They're gonna and believe they're gonna get a boo Usman for his fourth. If that's Usman, yeah, Hegma, that's his fourth. That's gonna be a costly foul for North Texas. No, actually, it's number 15, excuse me. So that's Ruben Jones, and that's number three on Jones. Well, that's a late whistle, though. Davis driving, turn around, floater won't fall. Golden trying for the rebound, a whistle, and another foul called against North Texas, and this time it is Tyler Perry. 358 remaining. He comes back out on the court. He does. And I have to play with just a bit of caution here for the remaining. 358 in the game as he is sitting on four fouls. He has to stay engaged though, Doug. I mean, as tough as this contest is. 
and the way that Vlad is is in this in the paint, and they get him, and he he fouls out right there. Well, less than ten seconds out of the timeout, and a Boo Usman fouls out of the game with his fifth personal. And I'm sure during that timeout, Coach McClasson talked to him specifically about not getting that fifth foul. And we talked about it during the break as well. What do you do in a situation where your big man does have four uh, fouls? And I guess the, I, the, the conventional wisdom would say take him out, wait to, you know, get to, to later minutes uh, in the game. But you're at the pivotal point in the game. I mean, you're under four minutes left to play yes. in the game. I agreed with leaving him on the court, but you got to play a little bit smarter than that, too, and not immediately pick up that fifth foul, which is what Abu Usman did, and he fouls out of the game with 12 points and seven rebounds. Elijah Martin with the free throw, and that makes it a six-point game. So we are a long way from being done here at the Super Pit as North Texas has it. 46-40 46-40 with 3.43 left. Huntsbury. Kick outside to Reuben Jones. Jones. With a feed to Martinez, and Martinez will take the three. Oh, that had to feel good. Martinez, as a veteran shooter, man, that's an easy shot for him to take. He goes up. He had a good look at it. I wouldn't go away from that if I'm number 24. I'd shoot it again if I had it in my hands. Forrest, three-pointer, way off the mark. And FAU able to knock the ball off of Huntsbury to maintain possession. Now, this has not been a night for Michael Forrest who came into the game averaging almost 12 points a game tonight, just four on one of five shooting and 0 of three from three-point range. He's one of their top guys scoring, so this is surprising. You see the attention to detail that they're giving number 11. There goes the high pick and roll. He's moving through the screen. It's golden. They don't look for him. Forrest pulls up for a three, and this time he nails it. Hey, kid does not blink, does he? Went right back to it and drained it, making the three-point game here in the Super Pit. 46-43, under three minutes to play. Perry has it. And Tyler Perry drives into the paint, faced by Golden. Feeds to Jones, now back to Perry with 19 points on the night. Puts up a three, won't go. And Golden that's, with the rebound. That's where the body of Uzman is missing right there. When you see Black Golden go a sky up and get the rebound. Ball comes loose. Perry diving for it. And it looks like two mean green. Players have their hands on the ball. The jump ball, the possession arrow pointing at FAU. It's two of the same guy. Tough contest, boy. Like every shot has been contested on both sides of the floor, DA. Here's a look at the replay. Forrest just lost his footing. And North Texas had two guys on the ball, but a jump ball. And the possession arrow goes to the Owls. Trailing by three. Davis, guarded by Stone. He'll drive. He'll put one up short range. The shot no good, but a foul against Stone. That will be his second. And it will put FAU on the free throw line. John L. Davis, a sophomore out of Gary, Indiana. 64% free throw shooter. And tonight, one of two from the line. First one good to make it a two-point game. Davis, just one of those savvy guys, man. Don't You don't have to call anything for him. He gets the ball in the right places in the paint. 
he can create his shot from anywhere on the floor. Second one good for Davis. FAU with him one. Jade Martinez will check back in for North Texas. They see FAU go to full court press. Now let's try to force a turnover and they try to retake the lead. If they can get their hands on the ball. Tyler Perry to bring it up. Guarded by Greenlee. Perry. We'll dish to Jones. Now it's back to Perry. He'll come off a of Martinez screen. Shot clock down to five. Hunsbury, three pointer, won't go. Ball knocked out of bounds by FAU. That should be North Texas ball. With 132 remaining in the game. Great job by Tyler Perry. That was a matchup that he, right now, the Mean Green have got to knock down a shot. Some shots with a minute 32 left in this game. They've gone cold. Mean Green inbound. It's Tyler Perry with the ball with under a minute 30 left. Martinez, top of the key. It won't go. And FAU can take the lead on this possession. Greenlee trapped. Stone grabs for it. Able to find its way to Forrest. Forrest drives baseline. Now outside. Shot on the way. Good for Greenlee. And what a timely three-pointer for Brian Greenlee, the junior out of Gainesville, Florida, as it gives FAU a two-point lead. Now they have a two-point lead with under a minute to play. And now you ask yourself, where is the offense going to come from for the Mean Green? Now that number five is out of the ball game. Look, Tyler Perry is one of those guys, once it gets down to late in the shot clock, they rely on him to create at the last minute. Huntsbury has it. Over to Stone. Now Ruben Jones. And Jones tries to drive. Has it stolen away by Elijah Martin. And a timeout called by FAU. 35 seconds left in the game. And FAU has the ball. They have the lead. And still no Tyler Perry. It will be John L. Davis to inbound. Able to get the ball to Forrest in the backcourt. Forrest over to Davis. North Texas not fouling or thinking of the foul just yet. Got about a six second differential between the game and Game clock is shot clock. Shot by Forrest is deflected. And there's a pushing foul called against Forrest of FAU. I don't, the expression on Mike Forrest's face right there at the referee. He's having to ask him, oh my God, what do you mean that's a foul on me? I shot the ball. And he gets the pushing foul. Here's another look. See, the foul came as Forrest after the shot pushed Reuben Jones. Wow. And now Jones will go to the free throw line with a chance to tie the game. Jones two of two from the line tonight. First one won't fall. And the rebound goes to FAU. And they called and timeout call with 8.3 left in the game. And now North Texas has to try and play the foul game. Try to get a possession here at the end of the game that might either tie it up or win it. 
Yeah, for me and Green, it's, it's all about on the offensive end. They got to do a good job of, of trapping, pressing, and fouling right now. They got to play the free throw line all the way through these eight seconds. Looks like the foul on that possession was called by against Reuben Jones. And for Jones, that's number four. Forrest at the free throw line is good to make it a three-point game. And now here's a big one for Jones. So he can make it a two-possession ball game. Not the right guy to send to the line. Forrest, an 85% free throw shooter. Second one goes. Timeout. FAU up by four. Boy, FAU has come in here. you got to give them some credit. This is just one of those turn of events for the Mean Green. They have to learn from this game because they had every opportunity to pull away. This is a 13-0 run for FAU over the last 346. They have taken control late in this ball game. And Huntsbury with the shot. Won't fall, and that is going to do it. North Texas falls at home as FAU wins their school record 11th in a row, 50-46 to over North Texas.